everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nancy and I am so excited to have you join me today as I do a totally different video than I have ever done before. So this is really a new format to me so I apologize in advance. I hope you bear with me. And to my returning subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me to have your support. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click subscribe before you go. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and I am really looking forward to your helpful hints and tips and guidelines on using this new planner and uh, this is something totally new like I said I saw Erin Condren on QVC a couple of weeks ago and just really fell in love with the planner that uh, she was showing and um you know, it came with a package type deal. And I went on her website just to try to see things differently and what else she had. And so I ended up getting the one that was basically on QVC. But this one, I, of course, had my name on it. And this one is going to go from October of this year till September of 2020. Um, I got the horizontal type planner. So I'm going to need a lot of help trying to figure out how to set this up. Um, so, and again, I want to try to use it for scrapbooking, for planning, for scheduling, and most important to me is going to be motivation. So, um, again, it's something new to me, so I'm going to apologize in advance again. So, going through the scrapbook, um, there's this page right here that I think I want to use more for scrapbooking, and I think I want to to do it for it's a, a year from October to September. So I think I want to have pictures of our grandchildren taken and just put them in there right at the start. Um, so every time I open it, I'm going to see them and I can see their changes throughout the year. And to me, I think that's going to be very motivational. On this next page that I'm showing, um, this first page over here, on the top I have our, our youngest daughter Sabrina, her husband Mike, and their jelly beans, the, the twins, Aiden Pie. Aiden and Tori Pie, and on the bottom it's our oldest daughter Raina, her husband Jeremy, and the boys Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. I have a picture of um, my husband and myself and our two girls. A picture of my husband and myself when I was tending bar at Howard Johnson's, and for the birthdays of the month, I've got uh, my oldest grandson Jeffrey. So um, I thought that was really exciting. And again, I just really didn't know too much about scrapbooking, and I had just got a couple of stickers to put in, and I put that in for the month of October and it's like it just looks really exciting but bare and for the first weekend that I used um, the planner I as again again I didn't have stickers um, really didn't know too much about it and um, I, there were things that I wanted to do so I wanted to make sure I got the weather in because I want to try to plan my outfits for the week on the corners on that side over there on the other side of the washi I've got uh, I do an elliptical every day so I want to keep trap track of my steps, the hours that I do, and the miles that I do. And again, just some motivational tips. I've got my weight down at the bottom from the start of the week to the end of the week. Uh, just some things that I need to do over the weekend. Um, I did a road trip um, going to a customer up in Aiken. And then, voila, I got some more stickers in, so I was so excited to do it the next week. And as you can see, I tried to keep with the same basic concept of having my elliptical stats on the side, my weight. Um, I got some pictures in here of our grandchildren. So I have Tori, Pi, and Aiden, and then I got Matt and Jeff together. Um, just some um, errands that I had to do for the week and just some... And just some um, stickers to kind of make it look exciting. And I like that look of just having it busy and exciting. Then I got to the next week, and of course I needed more stuff. So I got some washi in. I got some items from Planet Cade. I got a little notebook. So I got more stickers that I put in there. Haven't figured out exactly how to organize this. If you do it by seasons, if you do it by color. So any tips on how you store that would be good. I think I stopped at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So I got some more little, those little sticker books. So I'm looking forward to using them and getting into this blank canvas. I got this one. I think this is from Stickadelic. Then she had some really pretty um, pages for the weekly. So I'm trying to figure out at this point how do I use this to get that this in there? Because a lot of the uh, the weekly stickers on the planners are more for the vertical style, so it doesn't exactly fit 
right on the horizontal. So I'm trying to figure out, do I use the whole thing? Do I cut it out? And um, so, but the stickers just, they're just so vibrant. And I think it's really going to make it fun to do this and just try to put in some motivational tips for myself and a little bit of scrapbooking. And again, it's just trying to figure out how do, how do people get organized? And how do you do your scrapbook and still talk, talk to people, but do things? Well, I couldn't do it. So as you can see, I shut my camera off and I did a few things just to try to get it started. Um, so I did the washi tape um, to divide the days. Um, I did the washi tape along the side to put, again, put in the temperature for the day, for the days and my elliptical steps, my weight, weight at the bottom. And I put a few of the pictures in just to try to get it started. Uh, I've got one of the uh, days up at the top I did Monday. And then I realized that it wasn't didn't go far enough, so I had to wait and go get some white out to white out part of the date so that I could put the uh, new dates on it and it wouldn't stick. Um, up at the top, I just did a strip of that the thick washi with October all the way across the top. And again, I'm right here. I'm going to try to do it while I'm talking, and of course, I'm doing a voiceover because. It was just too too new to me to try to do this. And, of course, um, I didn't know how to film it, so I had to Google how do you film these videos. And so I'm working on it upside down, which is kind of hard for me. And uh, not really knowing who's going to be watching this, It's um, it was just kind of hard for me to try to figure out what I wanted to talk about and do I keep saying help or what do you do and then once I got that on, but and I had some stickers pulled that I wanted to use, but then it was like going back and forth and trying to figure out where I wanted to place them, and it just seemed like it was going to be taking too much time. Um, so I think I tried to put a few things on and do the placement, and just um, at some point I think I just decided that this is just going to take too long, and I ended up shutting it off. But the pictures that I'm showing you there, I had. Um, the first one I had uh, Tory Pie and Aiden. They had gone to a pumpkin patch, so I knew I wanted to put that in there. Um, so that one's just a little uh, picture that I just printed on my printer, and I just used some sticky tape to put it in the book. The other one that I showed that I held up more closer to the camera, that was Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. They were in New Mexico, and they had posed next to this figurine, and I just thought that kind of was fitting in with this Halloween spirit. So I was excited to be able to use that and put this in my book as well. Um, and again, it's just use this, the stickers that I'm going to be using in this weekly one from Stickadelic. They are were just so colorful and just so beautiful. And I and I think this does work for the horizontal as well, um, putting it in the way I did. Um, but I th I think it's it it's really is made for the vertical. So I don't know if I can't get this horizontal to look right. Then I think probably next year that I would end up going into the vertical um, sticker. And of course, right now I'm trying to look for some stickers on the side and where do you put them. And so that just seemed to be taking a lot of time and then trying to figure out, well, do I put it in the center? Do I put it at the top? And I just I just really felt like I was wasting everybody's time with this. But then at the same time, when I've watched other people's videos, I see that they fast forward it, but they're still able to put the stickers on and talk at the same time. And that's really, like I said, where I'm going to need some help trying to figure out how do I get this organized so I can kind of do it and flow through it at the same time, whether I still put it in the book, but show everybody as I'm putting it in the book and how I'm placing it in there, and then maybe do the fast forward and the voice over at the end. I think I can handle that. It's just finding things that you want to put in, the, in your book without taking too much time. So as you can see, I ended up shutting the video off because I knew that wasn't working. Um, I filled up the page with some stickers and uh, errands that I was doing for the week, things that I had appointments for, whether it was uh, just doing laundry or, of course, trash day. I hate trash day. I don't know why. Um, 
and again just some really colorful stickers um i really would like to do this as well and i'm trying to put in time to do youtube as well because i am so far behind i work 12 and 14 hour days i've been working five to six hours on the weekends and every time i come home and i start i get on my youtube channel so i can start responding to people and um watching their videos and responding to them i'm like on the couch for two minutes and i fall asleep so i really want to use the planner too to plan my youtube time whether it's uh, doing videos and uploading them or just responding to people. I also would really like to get into doing some toning exercises. I know people have heard me say that for the past couple of weeks, but I think that is really going to help. Um, and whether I put it in the planner and just make time and say, you know, I've got to make time. This is what I'm going to do from this time to that time. And I think in this, I'm just showing you the different pictures that I did and the different stickers that I used and um, how I put uh, the errands that I was doing or the things that I had to do in here. Uh, and again, just some motivational advice that I'm putting in here. Um, and again, I just really love the idea of these stickers. I think it just makes the book just really, really lively. It makes it fun. And to me, I think um, if, if I do this um, every week and just kind of keep track and show people the elliptical stats and the weight stats and what I'm doing to try to keep in shape, to me, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be motivation enough for me so that I can stay motivated, maybe help somebody else get motivated because it's been other people that have been motivating me to get back on this journey. Um, I've been really loving this plan with me videos that I've been watching. There is like just so much out there and I can't wait to be able to get as good as everyone else as, as they are in their videos. And so I just want to take a few seconds to say thank you everyone. Sorry about that. I ran out of space. So I just want to say thank you everyone for joining me tonight. It means the world to me to have you watch this. I hope that you have lots and lots of suggestions for me because I'd really like to make this work for me, for my planning, for my motivation. So again, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all go out, have a fantastic day, and we will chat again soon, everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.